So I'm running Delphix locally on a home system. We'll start here and travel down the great data highway to the end. For now, let's take a look at what we're working with. My local Delphix 4.2 install has multiple data sources and a couple virtual targets. We have three data sources in the Invest Plus production group. These sources are an Oracle 11.2 home, an Oracle database, and a Tomcat web server with Apex installed, and a virtual database called dbdev cloned from Invest Plus DB Prod, along with a virtual clone of the Tomcat Apex application stack. We have a Sybase ASE database called Pubs and a Postgres database called UB15, the Delphix Agile masking repository, and an MS SQL Server database called Corp HRDB Prod. But that's not the cool part. I'm replicating my Oracle database and Tomcat Apex stack from here to a Delphix engine running inside Amazon Web Services. You can see the target engine and the replicated objects here. So I'll kick off an incremental replication of the latest snapshot and log data by clicking Replicate Now. The data is being replicated. You can see it being received here on the Amazon Web Server Delphix engine. If I change over to the Landshark engine namespace, here's my data sources. But that's not the cool part. I'm going to log into the web app that I replicated and provisioned on Amazon Web Services. So you can see it's filled with test data, notifications, mocked up names, etc. What we want to do is refresh this and development database and application with the latest data from our source. This is something you can do easily with Delphix, just a couple of clicks, but that's not what we're going to do. And it's, it's certainly not the cool part. We're going to refresh our virtual database and application replicated from a local Delphix engine and a provisioned in the Amazon cloud by pressing a physical button wired to a Raspberry Pi running Python code that interfaces with Delphix via the REST API. That's the cool part. Here's the Raspberry Pi SSH prompt. Uh, you can see I've run my switch.py program and have Delphix in the background. So let's push the button. The button that's connected to GPIO pin 18 on the Raspberry Pi was pressed, which got a list of the Delphix VDBs and V files on the Amazon Delphix engine and initiated an API refresh of them from their source. The Python output shows two jobs running, and you can see the refresh jobs running in the actions pane on the right side of the Delphix screen. The refresh jobs take about two minutes, so I'm going to fast forward a bit through that. Okay, the refresh is done, so let's go back to our Apex app and we'll see what it's like. And we'll log in again, and here we are. No more dev data. The app was refreshed completely with data from the source database. Pretty cool, huh? But oh no, I had some things I still wanted to do in my dev environment. We need to go back. Luckily, I have a second button on my Raspberry Pi. This one will call the Python code, gather a list of VDBs and V files, and undo any refresh operations against them. That's a cool part too. So just like last time, we see the undo jobs submitted to the Delphix engine, and the jobs show up in the actions pane on the right hand side of the Delphix screen. This only takes about a minute, but I'll fast forward through this one too. It is done. So let's go back to the app one more time and refresh, log in, and dev is back to being dev. Delphix controlled by Pi. Just think, with a battery pack, a smartphone hotspot, I can refresh all of my virtual objects in the cloud from anywhere in the world. At the car wash or in a Starbucks. Sitting on the dock of the bay or in the car. Crap. <laughs>